Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. In this episode, I want to connect my DJI Mavic Air to my phone directly without using the remote. So stay tuned. <music> So this is sort of a video. It is a tutorial, but it's also an idiot test for me to see whether I can actually do this or if it's going to be harder than I expected, all right? So the first thing that we sh probably should do before trying this thing out is to make sure, if especially if it's inside the house, let's make sure that we don't have propellers just in case we activate something wrong and this thing decides to do something crazy while we are in, uh, you know, in a phase or in a vulnerable position so let's see if i can do that part as you can see i already i have the guards on but in this case i probably won't be doing anything uh with the guards but i want to as i say take off the propellers so let me do that very quickly and then we'll get back into it all right guys so we're back and uh, for good measure i decided i take off everything i took off the the guards and everything and there is no uh, propellers but of course as I said you don't have to take all the propellers because if you want to fly it out, out you will obviously want the propellers on right so that is just for my precautionary um, setup I'm, I'm trying to do that all right so um, we have this thing on and the question is now we have to make sure of course that your phone your cell phone make sure that you have the DJI go for app right that's the app that you use to control the Mavic Air and uh, make sure, of course, that's installed, right? That's one of the first things that we need to do. I have it already installed. Um, it may, however, may need, uh, you know, restarting and so forth, depending on if, I, if there was any updates I didn't. So I wouldn't really show that as well, too. Just make sure every, up, all the updates are there and you have everything in order. Now, what they say to do is um, to switch on, of course, the drone, right? So we're going to do that, obviously. To switch on the drone, you just put in the battery and then you switch on. You press once and then twice. This doesn't have full battery. I'm nearly sure it wouldn't. It started up. And let's see. Lights come on. You hear the, you hear the tone as well. Kind of hard to keep me and this thing in, th in, in there. All right. So, um, of course, make sure you have the gimbal protector off or else you'll probably have trouble. Uh, yeah. So, you see the red lights and we see the orange flashing, yellow flashing lights. My apologies. And uh, what they say to do is the actual light itself is a button so you they, they say that you just have to press that for about i think about nine seconds so let's do that i'm gonna press it there and see if we get any beeps and we hear double beeps right so that is where um they they say that you have to hear the double beep so we did the double beep and what that does it is it, it enables the wi-fi now if you're looking for the wi-fi settings the wi-fi settings are actually to the side that's okay, you can see the password, I don't really care per se, serial numbers, etc. So there's the Wi-Fi setting and the password there, and that's what we're going to use on the phone to connect it up, right? So that's the next thing. So uh, we leave the drone for a second here, and I'm going to connect it up. And we'll probably have to uh, do this unprofessionally, as unprofessionally as possible. Alright, so let's go and have a look and see whether the Wi-Fi has been enabled. So obviously you would have to go to, uh, I'm using Android of course on this one, Android 7. This is an S6 that runs on Android 7 and I'm going to the Wi-Fi settings and I'm going to click on Wi-Fi to see if it will scan and so far uh, you may not be able to see this so I, okay could see that a little bit there I'm scanning to see if I see it and I do actually see the Mavic Air come up as a protected secure network and so I will have to click on that at this point in time as I said I didn't open the app I don't know if you have to open the app but I didn't open the app all right so I'm going to put in the password here very quickly and then we're going to return and see if it connects Okay, I'm back here and I'm now going to click on that connect button and you're going to see me press it and I'm connecting right now. And let's see, connecting. It says internet is not available, obviously, because we're going to be connected to um, a, uh, the Mavic Air, which obviously doesn't have internet. Remember, you're using the phone to connect and it has successfully connected, which is really, really cool. Um, so now I would say we open up the DJI Go app and let's see if we get the controls. So I'm going to open up the DJI Go 4 app and uh that the app takes a few seconds longer than the average app but let's see if it works you can see it on the screen there as well it won't be as obviously up in front but that's okay because this video is really more of an idiot test to see if i'm an idiot or not um and of course as well there's many videos and tutorials out there all right so the cool thing is uh immediately i can see the dji mavic air i will angle it there so you can see dji mavic air 
and it's everything is green i actually see connected down below there's actually the connected sign just like normal with the remote it's, it's the same way um i hear the fans coming on obviously that's because it's just flat and i'm going to click on go fly now and let's see if we could get to the settings now when you click go fly nice okay so we see here please connect remote controller to check the latest firmware that's what the overall status is saying here um i don't know if that has anything to do and it says error code failed to take off check the usb connection with aircraft connect dji support if this error exists okay so what i can tell you is that i can actually see what's happening through the phone and it is actually working with the wi-fi and also I noticed that on the actual app itself now I see these two dots and these two dots should represent the remote controller so when you're holding the remote remember I would be holding the control the, the phone like this as, to act as the remote it should actually work so with that being said I won't be able to put this into the screen but you, hopefully with the audio you can hear what's gonna happen when I connect it so right now we are assuming that it now it's saying it cannot it cannot take off and I believe it can't take off because um, of I don't actually know why it can't take off but it might just be because of um, maybe because it isn't detecting the remote controllers or something but I can actually see all is well here with the remote so I don't know I'm just gonna try it obviously it's gonna make, give me some sort of error but yeah so when we press on it you can actually when you press it you actually see the movement you can actually see the movement of the remote you can see it there so this is obviously the yaw and this is the controller for the left right up and down so i would say that was fairly successful the only thing as a to probably test out is to make sure it flies but i am not going to test that in this video if you think that you want to see that part of the video because i think i've really shown the essence of what you have to do to connect and it isn't really really hard to connect um but if you need further assistance please let me know in the comments below and i'll be i would love to create another video or just respond to your comments and uh, give you some advice if you need advice or need help with anything considering the Mavic Air. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for viewing. Please click that like button and, of course, that subscribe button with that bell icon. The bell icon is really, really important uh, because that allows you to be notified. Without, without, without clicking that bell icon, if I have a new video, you won't actually know that I have a new video other than checking the actual channel. Alright guys, so thanks again and I'll see you guys again soon on another episode of RTHD coming to a YouTube TV near you. Bye.